Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how uh, I create this uh, Nitro engine. This is basically just a engine for a remote control uh, airplane. So if we look through inside of this here, you can see all the component inside there. And also I create the motion study so you can see how they are working with this particular mechanism here and then you also can we also want to create all the component which is uh, part step by step from the beginning until we are finished to this uh, particular uh, part okay let's get started Okay, uh, first of all, we are going to create the plane from here and then I will create the line is 75, okay, and then I still continue with the line here and then go through this uh, particular line this year and then this is for the thickness of this uh, body and then we put the measurement this is the outer diameter uh, is 6.5 okay okay Let's see uh, this also the diameter right click 25 inside is a uh, 17 from here to here is a uh, 37.5 okay and then from here to here uh, 32.5 and from here to here is a uh, 37.5 okay okay let's uh, continue and then we create the revolve I would like to revolve all and then the axis is this one axis okay and then and we continue with the offset plane from here 50 Okay, and then we create the sketch over there. We continue with the circle here, and then seven point five. Oh no! Oh, eighteen point seventy five. Eighteen point seventy five. Then this is lined up together. Okay, and then how much the diameter? one forty two point two okay this is diameter forty two point two okay and then must your extrusion the extrusion should be let me measure it first okay fifteen okay we ex finish cats and then we extrude down minus 7.5 I use that one and then I create the sketch for here and then I will create this one 75 8.3 okay I use a slot from here 7.5 and then 8.3 okay okay and this one should be uh, wait I have to 
measure this one from this one to this one okay 15 okay this particular position here it should be lined up with the my project this one and then this is lined up with this line and I also create the slot again from here to here 15 okay and then this one should be okay the position should be like this uh, okay let me see so 7.5 from here okay from here should be also same position so they should be tangent over there okay and then stop sketch we continue with the uh, extrusion all the faces but you have to put the join and then how much 29 okay minus 29 okay so from here we should do the and then we continue with the this cylinder here which is uh how much the diameter this one and this one okay 34.5 okay we continue create a uh, another circle 34.5 okay and then we open up this gets number two and then we extrude with the join okay okay and then this one we cover up with the sweep from this one I use a guide rail this is the path this is the guide rail okay okay that one is uh, perfectly match each other okay we continue with this uh, position here okay create so I should use this okay uh, not a meeting offset from here to the center the center how much the center 34.5 okay minus 34.5 divided by 2 and then this is the plane okay slice up and then we create a line so I have to create a line okay because one is for the outer one is for the inner part so from here to let me project the intersection okay from here to here should be 7.5 and then this one have to be tangent tangent and then this one line up with this one this one line up with this one and then this one also line up with this one this one line up with this one and then this
this one is uh, R8 this one 2.5 right here to here okay 11 okay okay from here to here okay from here to here is 17 okay okay mm, yeah and then from here to here is a uh, three millimeter okay I finish cats and then I continue okay I will use a new sketch over there okay slice and then I should project this line okay and then create a circle so the circle should be or should be 25 okay let me see and I use uh, sweep this one and then this is the I'm just using single path okay just join okay yeah I think it's uh, quite good enough let me see oh yeah the little one is the pet not the big one okay this is the correct perfect I'll just use the extrude from here cutting okay yeah that's good and then I will continue with this cats here I'll finish up this cats okay finish this cat I am using this measurement 7.5 okay this one is uh, from here to here 7.5 and then I also create one more arc no slot from here to here okay and then this one is the same length here then here okay and then the distance is 12.2 okay so we just want to position it with the same center with this one okay this one as well center with this one so maybe we can use the collinear and then also the same radius okay f and right is the same radius okay and i just use that one later on mm. okay right now i'm going to three or four for those oh no this one is still i have to do it okay we open up the first cats and then we create this uh, line here and we make a angle 60 and then from here to here should be wait 12.5 and then 34.5 from here to here is 30.5 okay continue with the line here okay like this and then okay like 
this okay and we just make a tangent okay both of it I make it a parallel with the center line here this one as well and also this one should be uh, concentric okay and then I also want to make oh let on okay it's okay and then oh this one yes this one I should make a line and then bring this up over there okay wait I have to make a dimension 15.5 the diameter from here to here diameter 15.5 and then 8.75 from here to here 8.75 okay okay and I have to make this to be this tangent okay I trim it up okay and then one point one point six for the radius okay one okay it's a driven dimension so this one should be half a diameter from here to here like a line dimension okay 21.8 so from here to here should be 21.8 okay and then okay let me bring it 4.7 is the radius 4.7 Okay, and then press. I think I miss something because this one's supposed to be one point six. Okay, yeah, but as long as this diameter is the uh, same, I think it's a. Uh, okay 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 I think it's a good enough okay mini sketch just open up the sketch and then we do the revolve this one this one and then do all make sure it's join okay yeah it's finished and then we want to make the okay uh, I think the outer part of this all the whole body is finished now we're going to have to make a inside hole okay that one finish and then we also rotate this one the axis is this one and then the cut okay it's finished as well and then this one I extrude to the bottom okay cut oh no not that one right how much the diameter I should bring it also the diameter how much the diameter oh, 26.5 so bring one more circle 26.5 okay that's that's it this one okay yeah okay okay and then I want to make this a sketch and then I will bring up the yeah that sketch I project this one 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 and this one oh no this one okay okay I will create the extrusion from here ok 
okay until the maybe the position here so let me measure okay minus 15.75 okay okay and then from here I want to create another sketch from that one and then I bring up the project okay let create a line okay and then I do the revolution this is the axis okay oh no no not that one yeah maybe this one this center point here and then this center point here okay I cancel this one okay and then I finish report this one okay yeah okay have a position there and I do the same thing with the second one project I add a line and then create a this one axis this one okay yeah that one have a but if you see here there is a bit of a position that I don't want it so I just want to clean up again one more time okay maybe I use this sketch to clean up those one okay this one okay here and here and then okay just a tiny to make sure there's a the hole is a look see the difference see there's a bit solid over there yeah okay okay let me see what else okay oh this one i create a sketch to this face and then we focus on this one so we are doing the hole over there but before we do the hole we do this one okay let me do just one and create the construction give an angle 45 and then how much the radius or this one so if i use the radius how much 21875 okay 21875 okay and then how much are 475 okay create a circle but using the right, create a circle and then make a dimension radius 4.75 okay finish and then we extrude almost the extrusion let me measure first this one to this one 7.1 extrude join minus 7.1 oh the profile oh wait i 
I don't want to use that profile all of it so I just project this one okay and then I extrude this one I need to clean up those thing okay make sure this one is a clean cut join yes okay okay yeah oh this one this one should be wait let me check okay we continue we edit this one minus 10.5 Okay, we have a hole here. Okay, with the uh, maybe the smaller size five. Yeah, I think five is good. And then there's the center. Okay, this one's maybe just seven. Okay. Okay, if you like to use the uh, model yeah you just click the model so the thread will be modeled physically but if not you just use the uncheck it's just the cosmetic uh, type of this uh, where uh, model or the okay continue with the pattern this feature this one and this one okay select the axis this one okay I use four okay that one there's the feature okay it's finished I think and then what else this one oh yeah that one the whole passes over here okay let me continue with this one okay I continue with that one I create a slot over here slot let me check the dimension 12 and then this one how much the radius 1.25 okay so I create a dimension 1.25 okay and then this one is uh, 12 and then this one should be at the center okay but this one should be yeah okay let me try it first okay okay which one is it Mm, yeah this one and then where's the path the path let me search for it this one oh this one okay okay we create a sweep a single path this one and then the path is should be that one okay yeah yeah all the way down there okay okay so this pad is for the fuel so when the machine is working this piston go downward and then this is the carburetor here the air and the fuel mixture go through over there and then push by the piston and then going up here into the combustion chamber and then when the piston go up again and then they will make a compression and burn the gas okay okay this one is a passage for the particular oh it's not a center okay. oh not that one wait it's not a center I should be yeah this one is not center so where's the center center is uh, I just project maybe this one I could project this one 
green and then just make this uh, sorry okay I create the uh, yeah that is the center point okay and I just make this one and this one This one cannot be moved. Okay. Oh yeah, that one. Okay. From here to here. Here to here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So perfectly center. Okay. What else? Oh the strengthening whip over here we have to continue so I need to create one more sketch there and then slice create the intersection the whole body and then create a line from here to here how much the measurement Okay, twenty three point twenty five from here to the center twenty three point twenty five, okay. Okay. And then use the rip command symmetric thickness three. Okay, you just flip it over there, okay. Okay, and then what else? Oh, this is have to be a hole over here. So thirty four point five. Okay, mm, I need to have the sketch over there from this one, and then this one should be just the reference and. 34.5 divided by 2 so that one is a uh, hole over there the size just 4 make sure this size is not uh, yeah okay make sure this size you can check with the model so if you click the model so it will simulate all the push the phenomena here so they will go through so you need to downsize a bit okay this one or maybe we can adjust the depth maybe just six okay okay i think it's safe but if you don't like to use the threaded so I just click model but make sure this one is a, a correct one okay and then just pattern it it's easy this one the axis is one just three okay 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 what else okay I think it's all done and then we continue with the fillet okay just one and then do the fillet again okay continue with the fillet okay this one okay using 3.5 okay 3.5 I use this one okay and then this one okay that's one is later on okay and then one more with one more here using okay this radius just curious or two 
so it should be all two. Should be two. Then continue here. Okay. of this feature here so maybe I will fix those feature here if I suppress it no I think I will delete it first and then I will continue with the fillet here Okay, wait. Mm, should be done all. Oh, all oh, this one cannot. This one too. What happened here? Oh, okay. I know. Have to do with this one, this one. This one, this one first. Okay, yeah, this uh, doing the fillet is a quite challenging. Okay, so there is a bunch of error. Let me see. Okay, yeah, this one. Okay about this one yeah working this one okay this one okay continue with this one yes this one and that one okay it's all working okay I cl click OK and then do another fillet over here to cannot so maybe this one should be one okay 1.5 1 1.8 okay 1.9 9 9 okay this is the trick if you use two it will be error but 1.999 is working I don't know why <laughs> it's a bit weird I think okay okay and then where's my ribs over here okay I will turn on and then I'll continue with the rib this one okay that one is the rib symmetric okay and then I continue with the fillet again here 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 here, 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 and here with the uh, two. No, that one cannot work. What happened? Cannot. I cannot do the fillet from here. Wait. Maybe if I do it a bit later, I continue with the here 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 okay and then I open up my yeah over there and then I just fill it this one okay fill it one more over there two okay working okay nice yeah yeah, I think it's all done and then don't forget to save the project here uh, RC Nitro engine 
This is the name. Okay. Okay. Now, last one, we are going to create the sleeve inside this part, and this method is called in the context menu in the context design. So right now I am I would like to convert this body to a component so I just right click and then I create component from body so they will create a new body I rename it with the uh, uh, crank case okay so this one is called crank case and this is to become a base part so I put it in a ground so when we put a ground we could not move this uh, component because of this component is uh, to be a base component so usually if I would like to create another part so I just click create new create new new component and then sleeve Okay, I call it sleeve. Okay, here is we are working on the sleeve. Okay, so basically sleeve is a uh, like a pushing go through inside that one. So I create a sketch from here. Okay, from this sketch I just uh, click a slice and then I like to project using the intersect this line and maybe this line and also this line okay click ok and then I create a center line from here I put it the construction line as a center line and then I continue with the line from here okay here 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 and here okay make sure this one is a uh, vertical so that's as you can see there is a sketch over there and we put the dimension the inside diameter is 14 and then the overall length 44 okay and then the outer diameter here diameter is uh, 23 okay okay basically just finish it's uh, easy and I revolve this this one is a center line okay okay now uh, the sleeve is uh, finished and then but this one we need to create a hole inside there so when the fuel goes inside here and then they will go to the crankcase so we open up the sketch here uh, number one sketch and then we just revolve this one and then this is the axis make sure to cut and then make sure only the sleeve the work cut it okay okay so the hole is already created and then if you see from the overall assembly so they will create a hole and the last one is usually I would like to manage all my history here to create a group I just right click a sieve overall I select all and then I create a group and also this one is a sleeve I click this one and then create a group I could rename as well so it's easier to me to identify crankcase in the next or in the future if i would like to create uh, maybe like editing sleeves sleeves okay so it's basically usually this group is bunch of the uh, history from one part so if you would like to create or we would like to edit in the future we would be easier to track it down okay okay that's it for 
this uh, today tutorial and then make sure you subscribe like and comment and then don't forget to follow I would like to finish all of this uh, RC engine this one okay all for the component I would like to create all so this part is uh, just only for this uh, crankcase and then the sleeve and then next video we would like to continue all of the part until all finished make sure you follow and then watch my next or future video thank you bye bye